I'm Dan Rubin. Um, this is Three Lug Presents uh, Shady Beach. I built this with Nick Capados. Um, we build something together every year for Brick Fair. So this is what we built this year. What we were trying to do here was we wanted to create like a truly alien environment. Um, so that sort of came together with these plants and then the uh, insectoid aliens that live on the planet. And then we've got the human explorers in their submersible spaceship who've come upon this island and they're encountering each other. So let's start then with the, their kind of submersible ship here. <laughs> and this so much going on in here, so talk about how this came together. So Nick is the guy who built the sub, the sub spaceship. And um, basically what we do is we text photos back and forth to each other as we progress through. So we knew we, once we figured out we were gonna do water, he started working on a sub or a boat and just kept making different iterative passes, working through it, um, starting in very early July, um, came together with the final form just in the last few days before Brick Fair to get it together. Um, so I can say, since I didn't build it, my favorite feature are these fins. Like once he sent me a prototype picture that had the fins on it, I was like, this is, this is it, this is good. It's perfect, so. And he was definitely going for a lot of that kind of smooth look. It looks like he's got a lot of the kind of arched uh, tile, kind of smooth looking pieces. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that goes for the both space and underwater looks, right? So it's perfect, really makes uh, makes you feel like it could work as a sub, right? <laughs> it really does. And then what's the vehicle we've got coming out of there? So that's a Swamptopus. It's an eight wheeled vehicle, um, uh, I guess uh, amphibious. So. There's, you've got the elevator platform here that brings them up from the lower decks and then they can drive off into the water. And you see there's another one there that's kind of making its way over to shore. Okay. Uh, mostly submerged as it gets over there. Uh, I like that. It looks like a turtle when it's in the water there. Yeah, yeah, it does. It's perfect. <laughs> so then if we move then over to the beach area and the land, what do we have going on over here? So this is... Um, these guys are indigenous to the island, the, the insect guys, and these plants are a part of their life cycle. And so that's why we've got the different colors and they're tending to the plants as part of who they are and how they um, procreate, I guess. Uh. And you've got the nice little extra details along the, the beach here as well. You gotta have something for the kids, right? You know, the, their eyes, they, got, they need the details to go to. the oh wow, that's cool, the, the new fun thing to find in the big display that really, I think, helps in the big public shows to have that kind of stuff to draw the kids in and find something neat to look at. Yeah. The little surprises, right? And what's the, the structure like on those plants and how, how do you get that nice round shape? So, I can take one apart yeah. for you. So how these are built is um, three layers of these octagonal plates mm -hmm. with uh, two round plates in between each one. And then you have to put them, I mean I put, and then it's um, bar clips. Okay. And they have to be assembled in the right order or the geometry doesn't end up working. Um, so basically, what I end up doing is going around and doing every other one and then going in a second pass so that they layer over top and then work around the next, you know, the top and the bottom after the middle mm -hmm. to get that layered shape. Yeah, yeah. And then you stick it on kind of the tentacle pieces almost there and it makes for the really nice exotic alien forest. Yeah, exactly. You get that like, it looks like it's growing, but it's not like any tree <laughs> any of us have ever seen around here. So. Yeah. <laughs> It works, it works really well. So then for the, the insectoid minifigs, what are those pieces you used in there? Those are uh, collectible minifigs from the Halloween series, okay. actually. You know, I wanted a bug guy and I had a couple of those sitting on the shelf and I was like, this is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've got wings so they can be flying around it. And I'd originally thought about trying to do like a nest built onto the cliff side, but I just ran out of time to do that. Um, and then for the, for the water, you did kind of uh, parts dumping here. You got all the blue studs. 
Yeah, the blue studs, and then we tried to work the clear ones in to do, you know, the foaming water or the white caps. Um, I had thought I had um, the lighter blue trans as well, but it looked like I didn't at home. Otherwise, we would have had another layer of color, but um, it worked well. We ended up, you know, we're in the space area. Everything's black tablecloths, but we got a white tablecloth to put underneath just because the colors sparkle a little more with the white under them than with the black, just so that we could get that pop. And then does the, the submersible, does that move all as one piece or does it break down into sections? It's in three sections. Okay. It's in three sections. I'm sure that's easier then for setting up and moving around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that long, it's real hard to move in and out of a car otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Well, this is a great world you guys have created here. I love all the details and the vehicles and everything you've put in there. So thanks so much for chatting with me about it. No problem. Thank you.